know it's Scrap Lift Saturday, is direct you to where a number of ladies' layouts live, which is on the Creative Scrappers website. And the sketch that is there, and then underneath the sketch you have design team member layouts. Underneath that you have other people that um, just sent in their layouts and posted them there. So it's a lot of really great um, inspiration. And... There is also somebody else there named Audrey Yeager, and I just wanted to point out her layout because she, if you're interested in the Cool Kid collection that I use, she she also used the same collection um, and some different supplies. So just be another take on using that collection, which I know a lot of us have recently got our hands on. So without further ado, I am going to show you some of the um, different supplies that I used to do my layout. Okay. So, like I said, this is the new Cool Kid collection from Cray Paper. Let me see if I can get the lighting a little bit. There we go. And I used a few different sheets. Um, these are the styles. I guess I don't need to show you that, but because you will see it on my layout. I wanted to show you that I make a little pocket in the back, and uh, sometimes it goes across, sometimes it's smaller, but basically to put all my scraps in. So when I come back, I have them with the book that I used. So just a little tip there that I'd share if you don't do that. Um, I also break out my ephemera, so I use the Cool Kid ephemera by like the big pieces and then the small pieces and the acetates so you can really kind of see everything well um, and then the little pieces like the enamel dots and and things like that. So here's the some of the ephemera here's some of the other ephemera that I used a few pieces from. I also used a couple things that weren't from the Cool Kid Collection. I keep wanting to say Boys Roll because that was the last Crepe Paper Collection, so <laughs> that's why I keep pausing. Um, this is by Seven Paper from Studio Calico, and I used a, three of the hearts from this. And they're puppy stickers. They're very cool, if you haven't seen them. And then I also used um, a few of the silver hearts, which of course are the ones that are hiding right now. They're back here. <laughs> but there's a row of silver hearts, and I used them. Um, and these are from Close to My Heart. They're called Stuck on You Puppies. They're adorable, and I have them in different um, seasonal colors, and they have some different shapes on them. They're really fun. Okay. I Let me see. Did I wind up using these? I cut out a section of a few ideas that I thought I might use. Um, I'm sorry, a few pieces that I thought I might use. And what I did was I stuck a bunch of pieces that I thought I might use before I started on a piece of glass, uh, like a glassine bag, um, wax paper, sorry. And I stuck down, and then whatever I didn't use, I stuck back in. So it looks like I really didn't use anything from here. I thought I might be using the dough grow up, but nope. But anyway, you get a good look at that. And then I used a couple of pieces from this sticker sheet, which is really fun, if you want to take a look. And I really, really love the word stickers on this. I love the silver and black. It's beautiful. I really do. So I used um, some fun things there. I also used, I pulled in um, the thickers from the girl collection. And I used the big word love. I used, I think, one of the hearts. So not much from there, but uh, the love really looks, worked really well. If you want to get a little love. We'll do a little like quasi showing of the collection as well. I also knew that with this design I wanted to use the vellum and it really worked out good. You can see there's a circle cut out. So it's a circle design if you looked at the you know the beginning of the movie you saw that I had a circle design. So here are just a few of the pieces that you can see left over from the circles here. And actually, I'm going to show you the circle cutter I used because I recently... Okay, so it's time to take a look at the layout. Okay, so as you can see, um, the sketch that I showed you in the beginning of the layout was comprised of a lot of circles. And, well, let me start by saying, I chose pictures uh, about a story I wanted to tell about my youngest and oldest son and their relationship. 
And I found them a couple of different times kind of hugging on each other that day. And I was so happy that I was able to capture it. And actually what I'm going to do is do the journaling on the back. Or maybe even do a hidden tag um, to just talk about that a little bit. I think it's good to, you know, the pictures kind of do tell the story, but I still want to get some words in writing. Um, now, I did, didn't did do the sketch exactly as it was um, presented, um, and most people did it with the three pictures, but I chose the two. So what I did was I thought that the frame, and then using this other border strip here, kind of balanced out the size of that picture, because I didn't want to cut that down at all. And the reason I really liked this design for these pictures is because, you know, I feel like you're hugging, they have their arms around each other, and when I felt like I was doing I really felt like I was enclosing them together. And it, you know, kind of was what I was thinking at the time. And unless you're a scrapbooker, you will not understand that. <laughs> but anyway, let me just give you a closer look at each section. So up here... So uh, here are the puppy stickers. So I actually did use three of those Studio Calico stickers, and then I put the close to my heart silver ones on top. And then also I didn't mention that I used a clip, and this is also from the Cray Paper Collection for the boys. And I didn't do a ton of embellishing. I decided I was going to add in three of these clusters with some stamping. So you can see here I put the date, and I thought it would give it kind of more texture which I really like how that came out. And then I also inked the edges on the outside. And I really just, I like that. I like that look. Um, I used my circle cutter, like I mentioned. And you know what? I got cut off. So this is the circle cutter I used from We Are Memory Keepers. And you can adjust the size just by turning the handle and pulling it in and out. And so I did a few different shapes out of the different materials. I, I love the way the vellum turned out to just kind of um, make it not so dark. I love the plus sign paper, and I just thought it really complemented that really well. And plus, they were both wearing black shirts, so I knew I wanted it to be predominantly a black and white layout and the pop of yellow and green. So I just, from there, pulled in a lot of really just appropriate words and pieces, and I didn't go overboard with the embellishing. I just really wanted to focus on, you know, we have the circle bringing us all into the photos, and then I wanted the visual triangle, again, to bring us around the page for a little more interest. And the title is Epic Brother Love. And I just, ever since I've seen this word, I loved it. And actually, that was the one thing I got in a hip kit last month, which was from the girls collection, the new girls crepe paper collection. And then I stuck one of the studio, nope, that's also from the girls collection. I put the heart in the middle to just to show their, their love and their relationship. And then down here, I cut a little piece of paper um, from one of the six by six sheets um, that had all these different definitions. So this one said brother, and it says bigger, little, both crazy, which I thought was just really perfect. So darn cute. This says love this brother, bigger, little, both crazy. And then I have this chipboard piece, which I didn't show before. So let me give you another good look. And I am going to need to glue this spot back down. Sorry. And there it is. So I hope you liked my layout. Um, please check out the Crafty Mavens. For more information, I'll leave their link below. They have a, you know, a YouTube channel. They have a Facebook page. It's a lot of fun. Go over there, get inspiration. I also have my own personal YouTube channel. I don't. You could be watching it from there. You could be watching it from their channel. If you haven't checked out my channel, I will also put a link below. And I hope everybody has an amazing Saturday. Take care, girls. Bye bye.